what's going on guys welcome back to the channel everyone's been asking we're finally going to do it today i'm going to take you on a tour of my garage my shop the man cave whatever you want to call it i am super excited this is the first garage i've ever had in my life so i'm so excited to have all my fishing tackle my boat i can even get my truck in there all my tools everything in one place under one roof I am so excited. I absolutely love it so far. So I'm going to show you all throughout the building how I set it up and um, maybe ask for some advice. You know, I need some help with some things. So you guys are going to have to help me out in the comments down below. But to start, this is a 30 wide by 40 deep metal building. I got two 10 foot doors on the front and I got a 10 foot door in the back on this side. And that's to get my tractor in and out you know we got a little bit of land here so i had to buy a tractor to move some stuff around and that kind of stuff so tractors in there the boats in there all right enough talking about let's go inside check it all out so like i said this side is is more so the the workshop side i know i got tools piled in the corner got some storage here for just miscellaneous stuff you know ladders tools workbench back here of course you got the tractor um so this side here you know i can back my truck in here load it up with all my tackle and uh, gear whenever i'm heading out to a tournament so that's super awesome to be able to get the truck and boat under one building you know if it's raining outside or whatever i can back it in here in the warmth or in the cool in the summer work on tackle pack up the truck for a tournament trip it's super awesome so like i said this side is the work side all my tools and workshop vacuum cleaner tractor everything on this side, of course, we got a fridge, and, and Brittany made a nice logo to go on there. Keep all, all my drinks for the boat, for fishing. And uh, even if we're just hanging out in here, we got a few drinks in there for, for the boys when we're hanging out here in the man cave. So back here is just a little relaxed section. You know, sometimes you, just working on tackle, you know, just wears you out. It's just such a rough life. You know just working on tackle all the time yeah right just kidding but it's nice to relax a little bit so we got a little couch here a little table rug that was britney's touch to the garage of course um i built a little workbench back there and that's gonna be my tackle workbench you know i can tinker on baits and work on different things change out treble hooks all that on that little bench back there of course you got to have a tv you know that's where i watch all my youtube all my fishing shows whatever i'm out here sitting in the boat rigging up tackle i can pull up youtube right there let it play in the background and uh, do a little research on the bodies of water and, and watch all that watch all the good fishing channels out there and uh, watch the games Wh whatever we want to do we can watch out here so back here we got a big shelf this is a i forget the dimensions on it it's about eight feet i believe long sturdy metal shelf and this is where i keep all of my planos with my tackle you know i got a little bit of stuff in the boat right now so this is just kind of my extras right now i'm, I'm packing up for a trip here soon so i kind of got things organized a little bit on, on what i'm taking in the truck what i'm taking in the boat and i uh, just packed up a few extra things here but this stores all of my planos we got some extra hooks line reels that kind of stuff in these bins up here Planos, planos, and then some more bins down there with like extra line and extra clothes, that kind of stuff. Stay in those bins down there. Um, as we move over here, of course, I got all my striker rain gear hung up. That is one of the things I'm most excited about having a garage is just being able to hang up my gear. You know, there's nothing worse than leaving your rain gear in your rod locker in the compartment of your boat after you used it and you come back a couple days later and it just stinks of mold and you can never get rid of that smell so being able to hang up all of my rain gear after i used it it is just awesome it's going to save that smell and, and save my gear make it last longer so this whole wall over here i decided to finish with slat wall so i can add all of my pegs all the way down this whole wall so this is uh 
32 feet of slat, slat wall, eight feet tall. So we got tons of room to store all my trocar hooks, all my epic baits, all down the line. We got all sorts of Bill Lewis stuff. We got the great wall of Yamamoto. I'll show you that here in a second. And uh, just some other miscellaneous baits further down the line. But I really like keeping my stuff organized and this slat wall has been a huge help in keeping all my stuff organized. So, like I said, these are just all sorts of baits I've collected over the years. Um, got some new Bill Lewis stuff hanging here. Can't show you any of that yet. Just kidding, the new scope sticks are finally out. So you can get those at Fish USA right now, actually. They are available now. So if you wanna get some scope sticks, they are in stock finally. And then here's the great wall of Yamamoto. So this is eight feet wide by eight feet tall of just straight Yamamoto. All different colors of Cinco's, four inch, five inch, D shad, shad shaped worms. You guys know I love throwing that shad shaped worm. Up top, we got some of the new stuff like the Slinko or the Yamacraw, Speed Cinco. So many options from Yamamoto and I'm super pumped to be working with them this year. And like I said, this is just my extras. I got so much of it in the boat. I don't even know if my boat's gonna get on plane this year. I got so much tackle in my boat, but love working with Yamamoto and love all the baits that they make. As we move down, actually, we got a sneaky little thing down here. We'll dive into this in another video when we do my boat tour, but this is a foresight pull mount, a uh, active target mounted on there. So it, it allows me to use spot lock on my trolling motor and still have control of my, my sonar using that right there. So that is actually coming out on the market soon. So you're gonna wanna check out the foresight mount, pull mount for your boat if you're in the market for a new pull mount. But I take that off and on my boat, depending on the situation. So I don't think I'm gonna use that uh, over the next couple weeks. So I took it off and put on my 360. I haven't figured out how to get them both on there yet, but I'm working on that. Maybe sometime in the future, we'll have both of them on there. But for now, I just hang that up below the great wall of Yamamoto. Over here is just more baits that I've collected over the years. Just some, some crazy things you know, like some Japanese things, like these silly things, heavy poop sticks. I mean, I don't even know where they come up with this kind of stuff, but it is wild. I, I, of course, I had to buy some when I saw them and some old discontinued baits, stuff like that. And over here, I got my pile of, well, these are my crappy rods. I've been doing a lot of crappy fishing lately, but these are all my favorite rods piled in the corner. And this is where I need your guys' help. I can't find a good way to store my rods that doesn't take up a bunch of room. You know, I don't want to get one of those rod racks that are six, seven feet long and take up a whole bunch of space. So I'm looking for a, a compact rod holder that I can organize these a little better than just piling them in the corner. You know, I got some of them hung up here and some of them, some of them hung up in the rafters up there, but those are the ones that I, I don't really plan on using a whole lot. So the ones that I'm, I'm using and alternating through I want to try and keep them a little more organized. So if you guys got any ideas, drop them in the comments down below. Of course, we forgot to mention the beautiful Phoenix sitting here in the way, but this, uh, this is the boat side. This is the fishing side. You know, I set it up this way so I can back it straight down my driveway into here. I got my boat. I got all my tackle hanging up. So if I need to replace anything in the boat, I can just hop out, pull it off the board throw it in the boat, we're ready to go just like that. So I think that's about it. This is the boat tour. Well, I forgot to mention, this is one thing that is a must. You know, if I was to suggest some things to somebody building a new garage for their boat, a man cave, two things. First up, you want to make sure you get a drain in your pad, because if you wash your boat, um, you come back and it's raining, whatever. There's tons of moisture on your boat and it's gonna drip off. And if there's not a drain for that somewhere to go, it's just gonna sit on your floor and just make everything in your garage wet and condensate. So gotta have the drain for all your water to run into. And then also going with that, you wanna have some fans. So I wired up two fans on the ceiling on this switch right here. I just hit that, the fans kick on blowing straight down on my boat and they will have that boat and carpet dried out super fast. A couple hours, they'll be dry. 
So those are two things that are an absolute must if you're building a fishing shop, man cave, boat shop, whatever you want to call it. But that's it. It's a little messy right now. You know, I'm a bit of a neat freak and, and this mud around on this tractor is, is driving me crazy, but we'll get that cleaned up here eventually and uh, have this place nice and neat. And I may even live out here for a few nights. We'll see. But appreciate you guys watching. Leave me any likes, comments down below. Like I said, let me know what you think about rod storage. I need to figure something out for that, that I can keep them a little more organized and out of the way. But I appreciate you guys watching. And uh, we'll see you guys next time.